Hello, good evening. Just over a month ago, I could have been here, like I've been so many times before, talking to you about the Upper Rock, Alameda Gardens, or some environmental conference I'd attended. Some of you may know me from my presenting shows or taking part in stage productions. Others will have seen me running about the open-air theatre in the Alameda Gardens. Some others may even remember me as your scout leader. Still others may have seen me in a more serious role, listening and deliberating while chairing my bench in the Magistrate's Court, trying hard to be just and fair in my judgments. And some of you may recall our good days together in the old St. Bernard's Hospital where we achieved so much. Now, after all this, after all these years, I'm asking you once again to put your faith and trust in me and my colleagues by voting for us in the general elections on the 8th of December. Why have I done this? Why am I willing to leave to one side the pleasure of working in one of the most beautiful gardens in Europe and change all that for the pleasures of government? Well, simply because I care about people and I care about Gibraltar. And, despite what you might hear, Gibraltar needs your help. Things need to change. The GSD government has become increasingly detached from the people, from you and me, the people it's entrusted to serve, not to rule, through the habit of being in power or through the fact that they've been able to get away with it. More and more things, real needs of the community, have been left to one side, buried in a pile of files awaiting one man's attention and whitewashed in denial whenever delays or intentions have been questioned. Instead, we're told that everything's fine by the GSD, this state of denial is dangerous and not responsible. Government stopped listening to the people a long time ago, and the people who need to be listened to are frustrated. Anglers, spear fishermen, environmentalists, civil servants, architects, town planners, surveyors, doctors, nurses, and other professionals are just not considered by the government as part of the team. Even some ministers are not considered part of the team. And look, I've been there. I've seen it for myself. If you put your faith in me and the 10 GSLP Liberal candidates, I can guarantee that all this will change, that you will be given back your voice, because it's all of us together who can take Gibraltar forward. I just can't wait to work with all the professionals in environment and the GHA and with the NGOs to finally be able to put into practice many of the ideas I've heard from you and that I've developed through the years. Some of these are included in the manifesto, but others too all of which we are committed to. Many of you who I've been meeting over the past month or so know how true this is, and I look forward to meeting many others. Together, we've developed a program to achieve real progress in the fields of health and the environment. We'll improve the quality of life by introducing new green areas, including the impressive Commonwealth Park, with its underground car park designed in such a way that the park can hold the lake and well-grown trees. We plan other parks too, as in the old naval ground and south barracks, more trees, areas for walking dogs, reduction of pollution by providing incentives for low emission vehicles, for renewable energy and recycling. The move, finally, of the ancient power stations away from the centres of population, a new sewage plant, real improvements to the Upper Rock. And at last, the government who will listen to advice on how to manage the apes and the gulls and deal with the problems. Very importantly, we will introduce proper management of the sea to allow all Gibraltarians to follow their interests by providing specific facilities to anglers, boat owners, divers and others, while at the same time preserving our marine wildlife effectively and preventing foreign fishermen acting as if they owned our waters. We will provide a clubhouse for the GFSA, who we recognise as the go-to body in respect of angling. And we will provide new environmental enforcement team and support for our law enforcers to ensure that this is the case. We will improve our beaches in a way that sand won't wash away and make areas like Rosier Bay and the Nuffield Pool properly equipped for people, while making much needed improvements in Catalan Bay and the other beaches. We will have open, fair planning, with government projects being treated in the same way as private ones and objectors having the right to be heard. We will of course encourage development, but this will be with the environmental and social safeguards Gibraltar requires. 
my colleague Neil Gosta has already spoken to you about improvements in healthcare. These will include improving care for mental illness and the elderly, improvements to sponsored patient procedures, provision of oxygen therapy and more dedication to disease prevention as well as care and cure. I will also work with our ambulance men and women to provide them with the ambulances they need as well as a dignified place to rest and eat during their shifts. Why they, like others, have been ignored for so long by the GST, I do not understand. We all know that healthcare is a very personal thing. I know, not just as a patient, but also as a member of staff, as I ran the hospital for a number of years. Big budgets and modern equipment increase the responsibility of the government to deliver. There are excellent, hard-working and committed clinical and ancillary staff in our health service. That should be a formula for success. So what's happening? You see, it is also true, as you will know if you work there or are close to someone who does, that morale is suffering badly. The link between those at ministerial and top management level and front-line service providers is weak and support is poor and uninspiring. As a result of this, the heart is being torn out of our health service. One of my biggest tasks, but one that will give me the greatest satisfaction, will be to guide the health service in changing the way things are done and to make sure that health workers have support and involvement and that they, as well as patients, are at the core of charting the future of our health services. This principle is totally consistent with the open, fair, embracing style that we will bring to Gibraltar with the new dawn. My friends, dawn on the 9th of December is drawing near. The choice is clear. The GSLP Liberal lineup is a true cross-section of our community and at the same time the most highly qualified slate ever to stand for election in Gibraltar. It is a team of committed, hard-working people who deeply care about Gibraltar, about doing things differently, better. We want you to share our vision, the vision that brought me to where I am today, addressing you in your homes. The vision that you will be a part of by giving your vote to all 10 DSLP Liberal candidates. On election day, you have the power to make the difference to give us your support to deliver the refreshing policies and way of doing things that Gibraltar needs. Because if you do, I promise you, we will give Gibraltar back, back to its people. Good night. Thank you for this. In our hands. Take a good look around. Someone that hears our demands This time we can make it count There is hope in the air There's a will to declare That it's time for change, time for change It's time for some new blood For someone that can truly Truly understand Time for change, time for change